I swear they're saving all the good horror movies for the end of the year. What's up everybody, back today to talk about Starry Eyes, another good horror movie for the end of the year, written and directed by Kevin Colch and Dennis Widmeyer. I'm not familiar with their other work, they've done a few films together. But this one's basically about this young girl in Hollywood and she's trying to make it in Hollywood, it's a typical story. She's working as a waitress and you know, she just really wants to make it. She's kind of being exploited out of her job as a waitress. She gets this weird casting call to this big production company that is known to make superstars. And from there, the movie descends into her, you know, how much will she do to make it in Hollywood? What lengths will she go? do and it, I don't want to go into it too much and ruin it for you but it had a really cool ending it has a really slow build up but the ending was worth it the last 20 minutes were pretty freaking awesome some of the better stuff I've seen in a horror movie this year there was some problems but let me get into the good and the bad first of all the good things Alex S. Ho who plays the lead girl in the movie you know the whole movie is based around her and she plays it innocent one second with a little bit of a dark side and then you can see her build into the darkness. It's pretty good. It was a well cast role. Definitely looked innocent, but you could tell she's not innocent. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. Another thing was the soundtrack by Jonathan Snipes. Very synth oriented, kind of throws back to Carpenter and stuff like that. And this whole movie overall felt like a lot of movies you've seen before, but it was just really well done. I don't want to go into all the movies, but when you watch it, you'll, you'll definitely see that it's like a lot of other movies. Another thing was the makeup effects. Very subtle. There's no CGI in this film. Towards the end of the film, there's some body horror involved in this movie, so the makeup effects were pretty subtle but good. And especially the last couple scenes, it gets pretty gruesome, pretty brutal. I like that part because it's a nice slow build up. There isn't much going on at the beginning of the film, and then at the end, a lot happens, and there's quite a bit of kills. And overall, like I said, the idea is something we've kind of seen before, but it felt fresh, it felt new, so I really like that. But there was some bad stuff. First of all, I've seen a lot of body horror films this year. This was, in fact, kind of the third film I've seen this year that was similar to this. First, there was Contracted, where the innocent girl kind of becomes a zombie. There was Thanatomorphos, was another girl just like deteriorating. And then there were Starry Eyes. Starry Eyes is the best of the three films, believe me, but it does have some body horror cliches. You know what I'm saying? The nails falling off, crap like that. But it doesn't delve too much into the body horror. This one still stays a little more subtle. The whole film is kind of about her transforming forming and the transformation overall is really cool and the end is well worth it but like I said getting to that part it took a while it felt a little repetitive at times oh she's sick again oh yes uh, she has to do this to become you know the starlet that she wants to be and at, at times it just felt repetitive and it felt a little long it could have been probably condensed down to an hour and 15 minutes and the bad guys were probably the worst part for me it's they just felt so over the top i understand what they were trying to do you know show the evil of hollywood all this stuff but the bad guys were just a little over the top it kind of reminded me of rosemary's baby at the end when it kind of reveals you know what's going on in rosemary's baby the way they're just like <laughs> you know laughing at her face that's what it felt like creepy old people you know bringing in the young starlet and i understand that's what they were going for but I thought that part was the only non-subtle part of the movie. And there's a couple guys in black cloaks, but we'll get into that. <laughs> That's another thing. I didn't mind that. Like I said, the ending of the movie gets pretty dark and it was pretty freaking awesome, the ending. So overall, because the film had a great ending, a pretty cool concept, it did have some faults. I'll give it a four out of five. Another strong one for the end of the year and you really got to check it out. I thought it was well done. No jump scares, no CGI that I can even freaking remember. What else do you want? So if you've seen Starry Eyes, let me know what you think down below. Begs kind of the question, what would you do to be famous? Whatever. I'll see you guys soon.